Okay, so this is the great revelation today. The answer process. The title being the answer. Is a reactive type of um, process, isn't it? Because when you're answering something, I'm going to put a check here. Uh, when you're answering something, you're responding to something. Whereas if you're creating the problem, you're being proactive. So you're the ones who are generating initiative when you're actually creating a problem. So flipping the answer process on its head, still maintaining the answer process, but within it, there's that concept of, well, I want to be the one creating the problems so that I'm winning the initiatives. Sounds pretty simple, straightforward. Creating problems gives you the head start, then you're not being reactive. It's like being a counter, counter attacker. You're waiting for the opponent to attack before you can then make your move. Sometimes it's good being a counter attacker because the opponent maybe attacks and they're not in sure footing. They'll leave like a space open for you to be able to counter attack. So um, there is benefits to being a very good counter attacker because the opponent has overextended with whatever attack they're putting in place. So we're going to put a check here. So while we're talking about creating a problem, within the answer process, we are always looking at how we can develop our pieces, single direct moves. This person's given us this game, obviously. I mean, because we're going to just get the queen here. Yeah, okay, so I think they're just uh, messing about. But anyway, it's a good example of one creating the problem. That was the exercise for today. Let's just put a check here. Could have taken the night. Got plenty of time to take the night. Do I have any other pieces? Put a rook check. I might not even need to take the um, night yet. We'll see. Create problems for the king. Because the answer process is about putting pressure on the king or the king area. Um, so it is creating problems in that sense, but it's actually putting the word problem in there to make my game a little bit more impactive. Yeah, it's got the rook here as well, so we might as well take the rook higher piece. So it's amazing how the change in the wording can make you think a little bit differently about the concepts you're working with. Yes, the answer, there's nothing wrong with the answer process. Simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically. But really we want to put pressure on the king or the king area or on key pieces with lesser pieces uh, or just removing pieces from the board a little bit at a time so that the opponent eventually capitulates or they don't have anything else to be able to do. So we'll claim victory on this one. Um, that was a little bit of a silly one to be playing but i didn't know what level we we're going to be playing here so um we created problems in this game 